start with the materials you'll need. You'll need your dissecting pan and you'll need four rubber bands. I have our scalpel, the blunt probe because it has a non-pointed end. You have your forceps, your scissors, and a needle probe. The needle probe is sharp. So are the forceps and so are the, um, the scalpel. So be careful with those. Um, the first thing you need to do is you're going to need to cut out your, your pig out of your bag. So there's two pigs to a bag, so your teacher may help you do this. But you need to save the extra juices. The more juices you're able to save, the better you will be. The, better, the more, the longer your pig will stay fresh and preserved. You're also going to need to have a Ziploc bag and a label. I'm going to label it with your class period, with your group number, and um, your name if you want to write your name on it. Okay. Does she need me? Okay, so we're going to save the juices until later. Does she need me? Okay, so we're going to measure the length of our pig, and we are going to use a string to do that and our meter stick. And we're going to put the end of the string at the tip of the nose, the nostril right here. And we're going to run it across the back all the way to the base of the tail. The base of the tail is where it's attached to the pig. Okay, so we're going to measure. So we're going to use that much and we'll measure that up against our, our ruler. And that is 36 centimeters. According to our manual, 36 centimeters is full term pig, so this pig would have been almost born. After we examine and measure the length of the pig, we're going to examine the external anatomy. This is all part A in your dissection manual. And um, we're going to look at the different terms. Make sure you understand the different terms. The first one is dorsal, and that means towards the back. So anything towards the back, dorsally, is going to be this way. Ventral is going to be on the belly side. Anterior is towards the head, posterior is towards the tail, lateral is on either side, medial is in towards the midline, so towards the middle of the pig, proximal is going to be near a point of reference, so if I say proximal to the, to the nostril, it's going to be how close is it to the nostril, okay, so it's going to be closer to the nostril, and then distal is away, so distal would be far away, farther away from the nostril. Um, and then right and left. When we're talking about right and left, it's not your right and left, but the pig's right and left. So this would be the pig's right, and this would be the pig's left, even though this is my right and this is my left. Okay, you're supposed to examine the external features of your pig, starting with the head, looking at how much hair, what kind of color he is. Um, all of those things follow your procedure on the, on the dorsal side, the ventral side, looking at all of his appendages, and um, paying a close attention to his feet and different things like that. You're also going to want to look at the sex of your pig. And you'll determine that down here. Okay, this is a male pig, and you can tell that because of the, because of the scrotum here, and those are the testes, okay? And um, if you have a female pig, you will not have that part there. You will have instead um, the genital papilla and um, no, no scrotal sac. Okay, so um, now we're going to get ready for internal anatomy. 